We're in Hamilton. I've been in Hamilton a lot. I haven't made a video about Hamilton for a while. We're at the north end of town. This is where the big highway is. Um, and a number of stores here, including one of the county's two McDonald's. And uh, the hardware store, which actually I'm here because I need some pliers. Then I'm going to see some other stuff. I haven't gone a lot of places or made a lot of videos because it's been hot. Um, it's been in the mid to upper 90s pretty much every day in July after the Scalco ride trip. And also you can see that haze on the horizon. That's from uh, fires. And usually wildfires here start more in August, so they're starting early. Um, and it's just not super pleasant. And right now, to compound that, I'm gonna be walking along the strip, the strody part of Hamilton. I showed the cute part of Hamilton. Now I'm showing the highway part in a hot summer with a smoky haze. Gotta show everything. On the other hand, it's a really great natural food store. I used to go there all the time. So uh, let's see more of what's in this part of Hamilton. So in an earlier video, I said this was the big box part of town and somebody commented, there aren't really big box stores in Hamilton. And they were right. Um, I was kind of reaching for a concept um, because compared to most small towns in Montana and compared to most of Hamilton, hey, we have a Taco Bell. Um, we have a couple other, oh, there's Pizza Hut right there. Um, so as much as having chain businesses occurs, um, then ahead we have the Super One, uh, the Alberton, Albertsons, I believe, if that's still there, uh, gas stations, hotels. So this is the chain business part, but it doesn't really raise the level of big box, um, which, you know, there's no Walmart here. There's certainly not like a Petco or an Office Max, a Best Buy, um, a Staples, all that stuff. Um, it's really minimalistic because of the size and also because a lot of people here wanted to preserve it, although I think with mixed results. So Bob Ward's, CarQuest, and then O'Reilly's, two auto parts stores right next to each other. And then over here, let's, oh, actually that's probably not showing anyway. 92 Celsius, um, excuse me, 92 Fahrenheit, um, close to 7 p.m. So yeah, it's hot and it's staying hot late. Um, so earlier, my earlier video showed the like charming, cute side of Hamilton. Only problem with that April video was that it was still treeless or you know leafless and cold in winter. Here's the opposite side. This is what we look like walking down a big long highway in the middle of July. Over there, I don't know if the writing is apparent, but you can see it says Kmart on the sign. And that used to be the Kmart. Behind it, you can see Blodgett Canyon, kind of a juxtaposition between the beauties of nature and a closed down Kmart. And I don't think in many cities, the Kmart is like the greatest historical tourist attraction. Um, but actually I miss having a Kmart, you know, speaking of big box stores. Um, and when I was here 10 years ago, that Kmart was still up in business and I would sometimes go there and get stuff. Oh, and we still do have an Albertsons. Um, so even with this, you know, type of road that's overdeveloped and has all those stores and stuff, it also wastes in a lot of space in a way, you know, if you have closed down stores like that. Um, and also, of course, you know, if you want to build more housing, having a road like this kind of breaks that apart. So that's the entrance to Hieronymus Park on the other side of the road, along with Dairy Queen and a couple of other chain fast food restaurants and so one thing I wanted to see or one thing I wanted to say or as we get ready to exit out of town is that there's kind of a contradiction here because a lot of times people um, in Hamilton and other cities like this are really proud of their town um, nostalgic want it to remain as it is want the kind of cute charming downtown walk around see your friends go to like a locally owned restaurant but also, you know, people here will usually assume, you know, single family home, you need a car to get anywhere. Um, and so there's a contradiction where those things aren't all as compatible. And so even if they want to preserve the town, they create something like this. And as more people move here and stuff, and that's still the assumption, um, this road's gonna get more crowded, they'll have to widen it. 
put in more lights until it becomes just another, you know, highway and stuff, which I guess it already is. So there is a contradiction there, and um, I don't really know if people always realize that contradiction because there's things that people just take for granted. However, um, you know, I don't really need to make a political rant right now or ever. I just wanted to point out that contradiction because, yeah, the downtown of Hamilton is really small and cute. Um, nice locally owned business, walkable. And this is this. Um, and you'll see that in a lot of towns. And uh, you can make of that what as you will. But it is in the 90 degrees. It's getting close to seven. There's a haze of smoke. So I'm going to go home and hopefully I'll get to go somewhere else. But uh, don't bet on it. One other thing to say. I'm about to turn around, leave town. There's the Goodwill. I've been there before. Um, here's Riverside cut off. This goes back and I'll ride back along a less busy road. And right there, that's the bridge out of Hamilton where we've been before, the Sculpture Garden, um, the Blodgett Park by the Bitterroot River. Um, so I also wanted to add that just because that last part, I don't know if I'll go anywhere. Obviously, I'm going to go anywhere, just maybe not for a while or go closer places or later in the day. There will be more activities, but it's going to be curtailed until things cool down.